Hi everyone, welcome to my UPSC Civil Service Examination Preparation. In this part, we will discuss about the slope development theory by L. C. King, that is, pediplanation cycle. In the previous parts, we are discuss about the slope decline theory by the Peng, slope uh, replacement theory by Peng, slope decline theory by Davis, and uh, slope development theory by Wood. In this part, we'll discuss about L.C. King. Remember, this question was asked in 2017, paper one, geography means question paper. So it's very important. It may be asked in the next sessions also. Okay. Now we'll discuss about L.C. King's concept. Okay. According to L.C. King, a standard slope will have all the four segments. Okay. What are the slope segments? The convex, summital convexity, the summital convexity. Okay. The rectilinear element the concave element and the free phase okay these are the four so according to him all um, a standard hill slope will have all four segment okay a particular slope segment presence will depend upon the local function such as for free phase there should be resistant and hard bed rock okay with certain uh, with certain order done with certain relief okay at a particular height that is the preconditions so in explaining his concept, L.C. King took an hill slope which has a scarp. Scarp means free face. Okay. With scarp, okay, which this scarp or free face undergo weathering where a superficial layer of the rock will, will be weathered and it falls down. Okay. Following this, it will form a debris slope at the lower segment of gentle gradient. Okay. This weathered rock will undergo parallel retreat. The free phase will undergo parallel retreat. And there is a stream at the top, uh, bottom of lower segment of this debris slope, which will carry the debris. So there is a constant supply of debris from the up and there will be outflow here. So the debris length will be maintained. Okay. So over a period of time, as this undergo parallel retreat, it will be transferred into concave segment as shown here. See, this is the convex. So there will be parallel retreat here. Okay, it will be developed into concave segment. Let me show you. This is the initial scarp that is free phase. Over a period of time, due to parallel retreat, it will be converted. This is the debris slope. Okay, now the convex concave segment will be de uh, development developed. Okay, so over a period of time, as this convex length concave length increases, it develops pediments. This is the erosional surface which is developed okay pediment okay pediments a particular plane which has multiple pediments is called as pediplane so hence lc king's concept is based on pediplanation cycle okay this was asked in 2017 okay so pediplanation cycle this is remember this is applicable only for a slope which has a free face not for any other okay if the, a slope doesn't have a free face or scarp then it will not undergo bloody planation cycle for example uh, for example in many of the slopes which are found in the northern hemisphere suppose in the uh, eurasian uh, cont uh, continents of the previous um, uh, periods are uh, convex concave slopes okay convex and concave slopes okay which are formed due to parallel retreat, but not of present day process, but of periglacial period processes. Okay. Periglacial period processes. Okay. So the basic requirement for pediplanation cycle is free phase. That's it. This was as, uh, established uh, by the LC King. Okay. If you want the notes, I have made the notes. I'll provide in the link in the description okay you can refer here also okay this is uh, i have uh, made the notes according to the textbook of geomorphology by Savinder singh and various other websites also i think it's uh, enough for the examination point of view if you have any doubt please let me know in the comments and if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you for other concepts, I'll make the video and upload. Please uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon button. Thank you.